I'm not even into the first phase of my um, meal and I'm already feeling full and we have ordered four starters let's see how that goes so hi guys veggie bhaji this side and today we are in Sana Dike that is South Indian restaurant in Chanakipuri this is a very South Indian authentic Mangalorean restaurant you have a lot of uh, different flavors and aromas and everything going on here it has a very soothing vibe to it so the place is called sanadige and it it actually means the lamp in tulu language i'll show you the lamp over here so here you can see the lamp and uh, yeah so let's quickly start off with the food and we are trying to get a taste of all of the drinks so this is the kokum drink this is kokum with uh, a bit of sweet taste this is the buttermilk and as uh, complimentary they serve these uh, rice uh, wafers along with six whooping different types of dips to start things off this is the coconut dip Ooh. pickle sweet tamarind dip roasted bell pepper and mayonnaise Ooh. garlic dip yeah, this is one of my favorite dips uh, our good old mint dip this one is the drumstick soup so this is the drum drumstick broth the other soup that we have soup or hot beverage is the rasam okay and let's start with the rasam oh, this is so satisfying beautiful this is the drumstick soup oh bro. wow it's so smooth it's ever so spicy now let's use all these dips i don't need some acha i don't need acha you can keep this and the other one also you can give so, oh. this must be around uh, 2 2.5 kg beautiful banana leaf over here so the food here is so delicious and yet so confusing because all the names are in their authentic uh, languages so to decrypt everything and blah, 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 blah. i'll give you a tour over here coming in 3 2 1 phew So guys, we are doing this beverages trail and we are starting with this kokum drink and then we'll move on to buttermilk. Kokum is like tamarind, it's like a thoda sa khata khata sa flavor hota hai. It has, this particular drink has sweetness and has a bit of elaichi in it. So let's give it a sip and see how it is. <sighs> Refreshing, it has a very strong flavor of elaichi. Ooh, and this buttermilk. It smells so good. I've never seen a buttermilk this yellow. Oh boy. Oh boy. This just... It's, it's so delicious. It, this is... This buttermilk is amazing. I'm not even into the first phase of my um, meal. And I'm already feeling full. And we have ordered four starters. Let's see how that goes. So guys, our starters are here. And for starters, we have the first thing. This is Kaju Sanadige, which is uh, some cashews tossed in uh, coconut and crushed peppers. So this is Varwal. So what Varwal is, is mushroom, deep fried mushrooms and uh, tossed in a lot of spices. This over here is the ghee roast. As you can see, this is one of their speciality. It's, it's a very spicy and uh, delicious uh, gravy. Like, literally, 
and over here we have the kempu bezule which is the cauliflower done in a pretty kind of mild uh, spicy gravy or uh, whatever you want to call it and uh, so we're also doing this uh, beverage trail in our be beverage trail this is the third thing that we are trying this is tender coconut with ginger and lemon so let's just have a sip of it and try how it is and then we'll try all the starters it has a beautiful flavor of coconut and uh, they told me that they haven't added any sugar or anything in it and uh, this, this is like really good the aftertaste is a bit gingery but otherwise it's it's like coconut only so and for starters they have also given this neer dosa i'll just keep two of these over here this is the well well this is fried mushrooms not so spicy uh, coating this is the kaju sanadige these are basically roasted kajus but they're then done in um, coconut and uh, curry powder so th that gives it a really good flavor kempa br uh, kempu brazu brazule <laughs> and this is the kempa kempu brazule this is cauliflower in a um, curd based uh, sauce hmm the actually really good this is the paneer ghee roast my favorite over here hmm rabbi ghee masala is amazing try the neer dosa with ghee roast that's a good combination okay neer dosa with ghee nice pancake very nice Hmm. It kind of balances the ghee flavor. This is this is like a rice pancake. Look at look at the consistency of neer dosa. How soft and how beautiful it is. So that was the starters, which kind of looked like uh, semi means, but that that's how the food is over here. स्पेशलिटी Kerala pam, hummus. That's a hummus over here. Fresh hummus. Okay, this is the fresh hummus. Okay. Fresh mango pulp, added with cardamom and black salt and pepper. For the main course, we are going very simple. We have a lot of assorted breads with us. We have some coconut uh, rice, and we have a drumstick puli machi and a mushroom based. Uh, coconut rich uh, gravy this is what the coconut rice looks like beautiful <sighs> full just put some rice over here tails with us also this is the fruit mocktail which has watermelon apple juice canned apple juice and a bunch of other things and this is the ping pong this has uh, pomegranate and cranberry juice and a bunch of other things so these are the basic uh, the main ingredients so let's just taste these first mm very sweet has a lot of cranberry flavor in it i like their authentic drinks better amras not bad actually not bad at all really good so guys the main course is here and let's start eating the food 
let's start by eating the neer dosa with the, this mushroom gravy name over here sweet and balanced and fresh this is the kerala appam let's have it with the drumstick pulimachi mm. spicy flavorful tad bit tangy So overall the main course is <clears throat> not very spicy. The drumstick bulimachi is extremely delicious. It's uh, very masaladar and it has a bit of tangy flavor to it. It has a lot of drumsticks. Drumstick is the main ingredient. The mushroom dish is um, very balanced. It's not very spicy. It's a tad bit sweet if you don't want a lot of spicy flavors in your curry. Go for the mushroom thing. I will just disown paneer ghee roast because it's cold now, absolutely. And uh, yeah, that was it basically. So that's how the main course is. And now let's quickly hop onto the desserts. If you come to this place and if you don't want to eat anything, just eat this one dessert. Name over here, and you'll be done with it. It's like it too is a dessert, and it's super delicious. Buy some. This is the. speciality the sana dige so this coconut that you see in front of you in front of my face has the best payasam delhi has to offer and if you open this you know if you open this beautiful box you see the payasam and if you try to get very creative with it that's basically a wooden uh, coconut shaped uh, covering that holds the payasam and the beautiful payasam this is how the how much the quantity is but uh, two things about the payasam actually a lot of things about the payasam so payasam is uh, basically made with uh, coconut gur jaggery and a lot of other ingredients sugar so and it's cooked so this payasam is not cooked this payasam is made from tender coconut coconut cream and coconut milk and it tastes absolutely amazing i've had this payasam i'm having it again like i had it in my last visit but uh, and it's such a delight to look at anyway let's just dig into the payasam and cut the crap crap not crab ha ah, vegetarian joke ha ah. oh look at that consistency of that pious in all its glory fresh 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 the freshness is incredible the coconut flavor is incredible you get the uh, what what was it the tender coconut flavor you get the coconut cream flavor it's 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 mind blowing it's it's like you are having the best dessert you can have delicious and you have it on a hot summer day it makes it even better it's it's chilled it's delicious it's thick it's sweet and there's no like sugar in or anything added in this it's delicious as anything if there was one thing that you would to have it from this place it should be this and no other thing so that brings us to the end of this video if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and comment down below if you have had a good south indian experience ever share this with your friends and family and share it with everyone who loves south indian cuisine. 
cuisine they should be made aware of south indian food after dosa and idli and vadas and what not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next video this is me tanmay from veggie bhaji signing off you guys have a great day bye